Hello everyone, welcome back to another mini tutorial session here in Procreate. And for today's video guys, we're going to be taking a look at creating this broken glass effect entirely done in Procreate. In order to achieve this effect, you actually need to have one illustration or your favorite illustration all merged into one layer or a flattened artwork. So therefore, if you do have an illustration with multiple layers, it's best that you make a copy outside in the gallery section and then you go in into your copy, flatten all the layers, and that's how we can start this tutorial. I'm also going to try to move slower through the most important parts. So just bear with me here amongst all of these sections. You may want to skip a few sections or go slower, pause the video, just take your time and this tutorial shouldn't be too hard. So I'm starting with a portrait canvas here on Procreate with my flattened artwork. So it's all done in one layer. And the very first step here is to create a new layer. And then we're going to be choosing the technical pencil as the sketching brush. And on this new layer, we're going to be drawing the slices or quadrants or basically how many slices we want to split this image into glass pieces. As you can see, the direction of these glass pieces are starting from the top right all the way to the bottom left. So now that you have all of these sections kind of sketched up into one layer, and now we're going to create a new layer that sits in between your base artwork and the sketch layer. In this layer that sits in between, we're going to just fill up with any color. So in this case here, I'm getting a decent contrast between my blue sketch lines and the color that I've used as my color fill. Now the next step is to use the selection tool and we're going to be using the free form or the freehand mode. And now we're just going to be zooming in and drawing these quadrants. We're going to be drawing the pieces or sections and making a closed selection. Make sure to go really slow here and make sure to get just in the middle of each sketch line so that you get as close as what you have planned in the sketch layer. Now I'm going to rest my pencil here on the table and with a three finger swipe gesture, we're going to do a cut and paste into a new layer. That is basically bringing that first slice into a new layer. Now back in the layers panel, we're gonna go back into our color fill layer and do the same thing for all the remaining slices. Basically, we're going to be breaking up these fill slices into separate layers. So now that you're done, you basically, you probably have four to five different slices now in separate layers, and they all should be filled layers. And because you started from a complete color filled layer and you kept using the selection tool, you should have a perfect match whenever you turn on and off these layers. Now the next step is to go back into the layers panel once again and we're going to duplicate our base layer, the illustration layer, as many times as the number of slices that you have. So if you have, for example, four slices, you're gonna make four duplicates. If you have five slices, you make five duplicates, so on and so forth. So now that you have all the base layers duplicated, we're gonna be moving those layers on top of each slice. So pick one base layer, and once you do that, let's set each of these base layers of the illustration layers, we're gonna set them as clipping masks for each slice. So the next step now is to select each individual base layer that you've duplicated, and now feel free to scale, slide, do any sort of positionings and distortions that you want to create in order to start creating these optical effects. The next step here is to once again select those layers and just a couple of these slices at the base layer and we're going to be applying Gaussian Blur onto these slices. And reason for that is then we're going to further enhance this optical effect illusion because some of these slices, they're scaled up, they're receiving Gaussian Blur, so it gives this impression that these slices with Gaussian Blur are closer to the camera than the other ones. Now the next couple steps here, it's basically a clipping mask game, but now that you have this structure kind of built, we're going to be creating more layers. They're also going to be set as clipping masks. Now on top of the base layer of each copy of the base layer. And with that, you're going to be drawing a few solids, a few like sections of white color, which then you can use Gaussian blur once again, set them as screen mode. And what we're trying to do here is the different reflections of light hitting the shards in a different way. So my only tip here for this section is try to vary the direction where the slide is coming and try to skip a few of these slices 
so that the effect looks a bit more natural. Now, if you want to be really, really detailed here, you can just add one more layer and then draw these not so thick lines that are just running across each um, edge of each shard and you, you draw them with a darker color and you set the blending mode to overlay. And those are going to give the thickness that you usually find at the edges of these slices. Then just finishing things off here, the one of the final touches is for you to go into Unsplash or any other free image website that you can find and download a couple lens flares. And by applying these lens flares with the lighten mode, a lighten blending mode, and a little bit of opacity, you actually get that extra added on effect, that extra optical effect that makes it feel very convincing that this is a broken glass effect and you're taking a picture of an illustration that has been slid under these sections or slices of glass. And that's the final result, guys. So that's really it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did a like, it would be super appreciated. As well as you make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks, reviews, and speed paint videos. And that is all for you to become a better digital illustrator. Now on the right side of the screen, there's always more content for you guys to watch. One is my latest upload, and the other one's a video that YouTube's recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.